welcome back to another formula to my driver career here on the, the nerd as we are back race 12 or no sorry 13 of 14 sorry two races left 13 monza just finished practice look at that top of the practice times monza a, a, a relatively dare i say boring track straights and a few chicanes uh which we can obviously take at very high speeds with our significant lift and coast ability uh knocking uh what, what two tenths of a second faster than novalak in second place there so good standings to go into the one shot qualifying of course we all know what happens in one shot qualifying it's not my best so we'll be looking to qualify as high up the standings as possible with two races to go to push ourselves from fifth in the uh in the overall driver standings up to i mean can we get third two races to go if uh if martin's poor chair we can definitely outpace uh, uh vesti if they can have some bad runs is the gap doable for you probably not fourth might be the best we're gonna get but the closer we get to the top hopefully the better job we get when the f1 teams come calling which is what it's all about highest placed british driver though so stick that ali berman so let's see, one shot qualifying, Monza, can we qualify well to then have a good race? Better than what we've had in, you know, some of the little problems we've had in the last couple of races. 72 overrated driver still. Obviously the race will, race will improve that. Right, come on in lads, tell us about Monza. One, ooh, one shot qualifying in the sun. 11 laps race in the rain. We know what happened in the rain at Silverstone, a track again we could have done much better at than, uh, than we did in the race because when it's raining, overtaking opportunities are difficult to come by. Monza, a lot of straights and then a few chicanes are not seeing huge amount without using pace ways of getting around people. So qualifying well is going to be imperative. Oh joy. I see super soft. Super soft for quality. Is that super soft for quality? That is super soft. Well, I mean, might as well use them now because we definitely ain't going to be using them in the rain tomorrow. Right, let's do it. One shot, one opportunity. I have to stop myself saying that every single time. Can we qualify well for a wet race? Did it stay second? Second on the grid. We had a wobble there. I did not go full beans out of one of those corners. So for some reason, I, I just didn't feel the confidence in the super softs. I felt a wobble, held off. I saw us drop down to 20 odd, 20 off, 20th place. But to get back on that back half of the track from, uh, from the back of the grid to the front row, uh, gives me some confidence going into the race at least. Second place on the grid. Goodbye for now then. 
but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Could have done with those points, but between all of our uh, our different um, uh, rivals, should we call them rivals? Poor chair beating us by uh, three hundredths of a second there. Get the two points. I can, it definitely was ours. I definitely just did not come out of one of those corners on four. After the first chicane, I thought that's where I was going to struggle, but I saw us in first and then lost it on the car, lost it on the corners that came after. But we're above, of Ma we're above Martins, which is the key, because Daravala is second, is first, poor chair second. So Martins is the one we need to beat. Martins is the driver we need the biggest gap on to try and close down those 40 points. I mean, it's going to be, I mean, we could do with him being back at the grid again, like he was there a race or two ago. And where is Fet Vesti's down in 18th, Hajar in 17th. So we are definitely the number one driver for sure. Can we now, from the front row, convert to an early overtake in the rain and take a win here in Monza? Okay, 11 laps. Let's see how wet it actually is. Oh no, oh no. Hello, welcome back to a classic circuit. Familiar to fans the world over, this is Monza. You can hear the cars ready to go. Certainly the fans are ready for some action. We're all set. So let's get this Formula 2 race underway. Monza's emphasis on long, fast straights typically rewards a low drag setup, but teams using that could face some problems in these conditions. Watch out for Parabolica, possibly this track's most demanding corner. We may see cars struggling for grip there. Let's look at the grid order for today's race while the cars make their final preparations. Teo Polcher has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position and Herbert completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Martins, Deruvula, Ayumu Awasa, Behrman, Fittipaldi, Hauger, Vashore, Arthur Leclerc, Duan, Novelak, Zane Maloney, Brad Benavides, Correa, Stanek, Hajar, Frederick Vesti, Boschong, Cordiel, Miney, and Roy Nisani completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. It is the Formula 2 race. It is time to introduce you to Alex Brundle. I'm Alex Jakes, and we've got changeable weather out there today. That's making for some nervous team personnel down in the paddock, down in the pit lane. There are going to be some quivering hands on the tyre guns, aren't there, when they tighten up what could easily be the wrong specification of tyre completely for the conditions. It's a gamble out there. I think it's wet. Speed's key here today, so we're going to need a low downforce setup, which of course means that DRS won't be as effective, but hopefully we're going to be so quick we won't even need it. I mean, it's absolutely pissing down. We do have, though, the inside line, if we can get away well on that first chicane, which I think is going to be the hardest part of this race. Default strategy wets all the way through, so it's 11 laps, single race, no stops. We can't get any pit stop cock-ups, which have let us down in the past naming their names, pit crew, uh, where we're not getting released in time. So hopefully, with a straight race, if we can get away cleanly, that's it. It's just holding off everybody else. If DRS isn't effective, we should have speed. But I'm not as confident on the corners in a wet track as I would be on a dry, of course. Wish me luck. Here we are at Monza, home of speed, but maybe not today in the rain, as we have five red lights. And away we go here as the rain is absolutely pouring down herbert from the off loses places straight away second place herbert started on the grid here poor chair in front as we see herbert back up to second in that first corner not oh my god damage straight away was that even from we know who it usually is from i don't think it was it's carbon fiber from behind as herbert gets away with a fairly clean front end poor chair pulling away almost a second the front window of Herbert looks clean. It may be elsewhere on these cars that we saw the carbon fiber fly. <clears throat> but there were cars that touched here in the start of this race in Monza. Normally, the home of speed. But look at this. That's almost like a crawl camera around. He's struggling to just slow down his movement as the back end goes out on Herbert there. First second here. 1.2 seconds. Porsche is away in this race as Herbert is holding up the rest of the pack in second. Martins in third. Uh, much better performance for Martins in qualifying to get up here rather than back of the grid where he was last time. Daravala fourth, Iwasa in fifth, the man that ruined Herbert's race uh, for trying to dodge Charles Leclerc in, uh, sorry not Charles, Arthur Leclerc uh, in the last race. 
Behrman in sixth, last race's winner. As we are looking at the business end of the season here. Oh, there was some damage on that front end, but it doesn't look like it took any carbon fiber off. The slow speed of the, uh, oh my God, as the cars are sliding around there. Yeah, the load speed in the rain, obviously helping limit the damage here. And look at that, it's absolutely bucketed down here in Italy. Porsche leading after one lap, 1.7 seconds to her, but he's got some time to make up as we need a bit of a clean drag to start pulling out. We need that racing line to appear in the wet here. As we were expecting, potentially a one, uh, potentially a one stop on the wets, uh, or it could be a thing if they can maintain the tire where it could be uh, a single shot all the way through on the one single set of wets. All depends on the weather and uh, how the drivers are feeling as we go through the chicane. The slow speed chicane. However, up though, making time up, he's got a gap, 1.4 seconds to mines, but he's cut his gap to Porsche in front to the second. Not that DRS is gonna matter because it will not be on here in this race. Hajar Herb's teammate down in 19th, really struggling. Herbert coming in as a rookie this year and really proven uh, for the high-tech team to be the number one driver. As we come down, two laps. Herbert within the second now as he's gaining on Porsche here. A long race, but those two sitting 1.8 seconds, nearly two seconds in front of Martins now as they are starting to pull away from the rest of the pack. A wet, wet day. Herbert had some speed in uh, Silverstone, managed the wet fairly well. Of course, though, doesn't help with his normal aggressive style, though he is right up on the tail of Porcher. There is some speed being found here as the track is either drying or that racing line is starting to appear as Herbert's finding some grip here. Just two tenths. As we go over the line into lap three from Porcher. Porcher moves over to the right. Herbert moves to the left. Is he going to try and late break him into the first chicane? Are we going to see an overtake? Oh, side by side he is. He goes wide on the chicane, takes the inside track, forces him slightly wide. And Herbert is into the lead in this race, into lap three. 2.2 seconds, the gap from Porcher to Martins. And Herbert will be starting to pull away from Porcher now. A lovely move, a slow chicane overtake from Herbert here in the rain as he takes the lead in the race. It's been a while since Herbert's been in the front. Will he be able to remember about defending rather than just attacking as he needs to lead, lead out now the rest of this race. Oh, as he runs wide there, trying to keep as much speed as he can. Porcher is not letting him get away here. This is really a two-car race. As you can see, Herbert fighting that back end, kicking out. He's putting, putting the power down, even in this wet here. Martin still sits third. Daravala fourth. Iwasa fifth. Behrman stays sixth. As these two cars are going at it now. You can see, yeah, that initial damage to the front end, the scuff at the very beginning of the race. Doesn't appear to have caused any real damage, as we've seen Herbert pull away here. But, but yeah, Porsche is not letting him get out of sight. As he carries some speed. Carries a lot of speed for that last stretch, comparably. Almost drifting this F2 car around that last corner. Over the line into lap four, nearly a second now between Herbert and Porcher. 1.5 behind Martins as they are either catching up or Porcher is slowing down. Into the chicane where the move was made. Nicely done, keeps it on the track and away he goes. This is Herbert's race to lead from now. Hadjar down in 18th, needing to get some places. Fitter power in DNF in. We've had one DNF already today in the rain. Behrman, sick, really want to improve, get, get, a, get a little taste, get a push for a podium. Although in the rain with these similar spec cars, any overtaking is incredibly difficult as we saw back in Silverstone. A few places here or there if you can, but you are not making deep, no, well, especially for Herbert, he's not making deep lunges and dives down the insides, taking multiple cars as we can... Uh, we need to make sure we keep the cars safe and on the track in this weather. 
Here we go. Lovely helicopter view here. As you can see the lines, the slightly different lines that they're taking, even in this wet. Should be trying to follow where they can to, to get rid of the debris. So Portier will either sit in the spray of Herbert and take a slightly drier track, drier in you know, inverted commas, uh, or uh, try and step outside of the spray to see where Herbert's running and, and kind of forge his own path. All the cars that follow behind will then have that decision to make. As you see, you can actually start to see the track now starting to dry out onto the racing line. The water, the surface spray, from certain angles you can see it's cleared up, meaning that there is a better path to take on this track here. Here we go into lap five, uh, but still maintaining or not putting away though, poor chair still not letting this race go. Wanting to stay in, stay close. This is not Herbert's for the taking yet. And we know late mistakes in these races, especially in the rain where you are concentrating for such a long time on just keeping the car steady. Every single movement requires 100% concentration. Porcher is waiting for that mistake from Herbert to pounce, to get back into the lead that was his. There we go. Into lap six then. The pack is barely changed. Herbert 1.5 seconds to Porcher. Porcher 1.6 to Martins. And then Daravala, Iwasa, Berman. The same, the same since we've had since lap three when Herbert took the lead here. The same uh, lineup, the same uh, ranking here. The rain is continuing to pour. So the big question here will be, can Herbert go all the way on these tires? Or will we be seeing pit stops? And if he does pit, does anybody else decide to not pit to try and take uh, take away a victory here? From the front, he has a decision to make. Can he maintain the pace? Can he keep the tyres going till the end? Or is a pit required here? It has been wet and the wets tend to have a decent life to them. Look at that view. You can see now here, that's the, the clearing of the, the racing line on that left-hand side as they come down to the corner as the wider... Uh, track turns into a narrow one. You can see the surface water has now started to disappear. Even though it's still heavily raining, it's great view as well. So it's not taking that racing line. Deciding again to go for the drift. As he comes over the line, nearly three seconds ahead of Porto now. This gap is humongous. How about pulling off some fastest laps here? Late into this race, these tyres have hit their optimum. Clearly, the track is at nice pace because Herbert is not stopping. He is only getting faster here in the rain. The British driver loving the rain. Anything more meme-worthy? Look at that gap. 2.7 seconds. Herbert is well away in the lead now. Dare we say this is another one that is his to throw away. As we see, yeah, the spray starting to reduce now. The tyre's looking good from that angle there. The rain is still absolutely bucking. Now look at these fans out there still waving their flags. Absolute heroes out in Monza as it is brutal, brutal rain out there. Non-stop heavy drops. The track is soaked. The visibility isn't even great for those watching. Those stewards don't even seem bothered. 4.2 seconds as we go into lap 8. 4.2 seconds. Herbert is absolutely finding the speed here. It looks like he had a little, little wall spin there. Lose some time. No, 4.3. He's got faster than anything. Absolutely loving Monza. He is fine. He's come here to find speed. And I'll tell you what, he's not going to let a bit of rain take that away from him. As he is flying through, beating his own fastest laps. Poor chair. Stuck in for so long. But now we are seeing Herbert just pull away. Even the gap to, to Martins now, 3.3 seconds. From, down, from the, the, the F2 Championship leader, Herbert is now six, seven seconds ahead. And it's quite the lead here in F2. 
Okay, as we get towards the end of this race, is Herbert going to take some of that lead and get a fresh set of wets to try and put down some better time? I mean, it doesn't seem like he needs them with, uh, with the, the pace he's been setting. If anything, maybe should have been holding back and keeping the tyres safe rather than absolutely running them into the ground with some fastest laps whilst he's four seconds ahead. But uh, we're not team principals. We can't tell him what to do. As he comes over into lap nine. 4.4 seconds. That is wild. Everybody staying out. Right, looks like we're going to the end then. Two laps to go. He's not even at the chicane and Herbert is gone. Four point, nearly five second lead here. This is wild. Absolutely wild. He can afford to make mistakes. Running a little bit wide there, pick up a little bit of spray from the outside. Needs to be careful he doesn't push it too far or lacks off too much, but I mean with four seconds. Oof, again. Just cutting the line. Just cutting the, the racing line. You can see the spray that comes up when the line has not been taken there. Just picking up some additional water. Might be cooling the tires down. And he's just at the edge of the track, touching there's some slight the, just the boundaries. The boundaries of the, the racing line being pushed here. Maybe a little bit too much. Maybe just, just pushing it a little bit too hard here. Just take a break. Just I know I know these race drivers run at 100 percent As he carries that speed through that last big boomerang corner. Look at that. All the way around. A large 180. Onto the main straight. Into lap 10. 5.4 seconds ahead. You cannot even see poor chair coming round the straight. There's no other car on the track here. Look at that for a picture. How about, oh, oh my God. And as we say that, he runs right over the chicane, right over the bump. Oh, they've all come into pit. On lap 10 of 11, everybody is in. No, they've all come in for fresh wets for one lap. Herbert is out there racing on his own for the last two laps. As they're all in for fresh wets. The, I mean, the rain hasn't stopped, so they can only be coming in for wets. 42 seconds. Ah, oh, Darren Vile is up to second. No poor chair. Is down to sixth place after changing for, for two laps. Is it worth it? Herbert is, is now really racing on his own. Out in front, 41 seconds. Everybody else taking the pit. He could take a pit if he wanted to now, but what? I mean, if he feels he's got the tyre wear in him, he could crawl around at this pace. Look at that rain. Look at that rain. Monza's really given us a show today from the weather front. As Herbert is cruising now. Coming around into, is this going to be into the last? I mean, we're not going to see anyone else on the track. Is he going for the, he's going to go for the overlap? Into the final lap of the race. Herbert on the straight on his own. The crowd have stayed till the end here. Wondering what they are watching. Herbert out in front, leading this race by 40 seconds as he is stuck to the same set of tyres whilst everybody else is coming for freshers. Poor Chair must be kicking himself in second place, down to sixth on a tyre change. Daravala then taking the second place for sure into third. Iwasa down in 10th, one of Herbert's rivals there. Hadra up to 11th. Hadra's made a great move due to the change of tyres. Being in first, up to 11th. But even the teammate, the high-tech teammate, is coming for a... Or did he not come in for a change? Is that how Hadra's made up those, that many places? What a topsy-turvy table. Martin's down in 16th. 
as Herbert is pure cruising now. Even Darvala start to pull away. These fresh tyres giving these guys something to drive with. Let's have a check in on Hadja. At least he's in a race, eh? Number nine car. That's Herbert. 36 seconds to Darvala. The F2 championship leader as we see Herbert's car now. That little damage from the beginning, not slowing him down. The wet weather, not slowing him down. And a pit stop, Pfft, who needs those? Round we come. Last big bend. Crowd in the background. Here he comes. Grandstand on the inside. Grandstand on the outside. As Herbert is going to come over the line here. Take the checkered flag. And the first place, another podium another first place for this driver as he looks for points at the end of this f2 season a great drive in the rain i did see though martin's dropped off after they all stopped a great win then for high tech gp today a great win of course we want to see where our those fastest laps really count towards the end of the year you know the extra multiple fastest laps tossing up and that's how these drivers become champions at this level How do you get fastest lap points do you not in f2 there's only qualifying and as they make their way down to the podium, Here we there's are. no denying the strength of the high-tech GP team. It was an incredible performance today, and they fully deserve to stand on the top step. On the Monza trying over the track. Let's go. Another win in the bag. Easy win. Interesting that they all went for a, a second stop or went into fresh wets with two laps to go. But I think that pushed Martins down the rankings. I was a little worried about my tyres towards the end. Uh, and, of course, uh, the corner cutting and three-second penalty. Whoops. Momentary lapse in con uh, concentration. So let's see where we... It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you when Formula 2 returns. Okay. 26 points. Oh, he dropped real far out. Hadra was 11th, which is good to see, but... Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Where is Martin? Martin's dropped down to 16th. No points for Martin's. Poor chair down to 6th. And then obviously uh, Daravala. But we're not, we're not going to, we're not, he's not the one we're going for. He's too far out in the front. We are now. Oh, <laughs> look at that gap. 16 points to, uh, to beat Victor Martins. He has another bad race. We are now up to 4th. We have left Vesti in our rear view mirror as Martins is our next target. Can we make up a 16 point difference in the last race to take third? Ooh, ooh. Uh, what would the 16 point, that's gotta be, oh my God, yeah. Okay, so we need to finish like four places away. We need to win and it, we need him to come outside the top four. Yikes, yikes. Well, we'll be finishing the F2 season next time. So catch us to see, can we make it into the top three? Where do we finish overall? Uh, does uh, Hadrock get any more points? Probably not. And then, uh, does anyone come call him? Welcome back to this F2 Driver Career Series here on F124. The uh, end, the finale, the last race of the season. Yes, Marina, the Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We've just finished practice. Hajar in eighth us down in 12th in the uh in the high-tech grand prix car could this be the last race in the high-tech uh or for the high-tech team as we go in to the last race of the season standings wise fourth we are in the uh in the championship with uh Thea Porcher, Victor Martins of Art ahead of us and uh Jehan, Jehan De Ravala, uh who's been flying for most of the season up the top there. So we pass by Vesti. Martins is in our sight. We need to beat him by about we need to likely win the race and him finish fourth or fifth for us to uh to make that points gap up if we can qualify first as well an extra two points make that a little bit easier but we are by far the stronger of our two teammates Hajar this being the season before the current season yet to hit his prime next year you know after following in my footsteps he will come to fruition I'm sure but we are looking to finish strongly here in Abu Dhabi to attract some teams. We want an F1 seat, regardless of where it is next year, we want an F1 seat. So who uh, is gonna come, hopefully, looking for us at the end of the season? Being one of the top three drivers, 
will sure as hell help that, especially if we can rack up another win. Take a look at the constructors. We are still fifth with high tech, 115 points. Most of them being our points, of course, because we can see we've got 112. So three points from uh, Hadja. Thanks, mate. Uh, MP Motorsport clearly leading with uh, Jaravala. And then oh, I'm surprised actually Art oh, haven't got more together. Who's the other MP? Oh, how goes the other MP Motorsport driver? Big, big things. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Let's get into one shot qualifying here in the sun around the marina. Those points should tip us over into a 73 rated driver now as we get to the end of the season. Nighttime, one shot, and then in the day, 12 laps in the sun. Uh, that'd be good. I mean, I'd like a nice sunny race here. Last of, hopefully, of the one shot qualifying as we'll go to a more standard qualifying format if we make it into an F1 seat. So, can we do it? One lap. This is an interesting circuit. Found it a lot more fun to drive than the others. Um, a lot more challenging, and I absolutely kill tires. So, uh, let's see how we get on. No pressure, Herb. Cheeky wave to the camera. Soft for the race. It looks like to me a soft medium race. Likely definitely going to be a pit stop in there because, my God, we do go through tyres here in Abu Dhabi. So, night time, 31 degrees still. Can we do it? One single lap. Come on. I lost it when I went and mounted the curb. Mounted the curb 16th for the last race. Yeah. That one chicane, I came across, I hit the curb, and as soon as I hit the curb, I went from first to 22nd. For God's sake, let's have a look at the timings. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action, and until then, goodbye. Ah, Martins is in eighth. So we need to pass him and get even higher. Oh my God, Hajar's in 11th. We are all the way down in 16th. What an absolute cock up in terms of a lap that was. One curb absolutely ruined me. My God, I cannot wait to see the back of Halga's up there as well. Oh no, and Vesti's in fourth. Oh no, all the people. We might actually not hold on to fourth. Ah, crap. Well, it's all into the race now. One last race in the sun from 16th. My God, I hope we get good pit stops. But I cannot seem to get this pit release to work for me ever. 12 laps in the sun. Let's have a look at the track. Have a look at the strategy. Welcome then to the United Arab Emirates. I have two drivers are on the grid and we're moments away from lights out for the start of the Formula 2 Abu Dhabi race.
Yaz Marina Circuit is a 3.2 mile racetrack built on the man-made Yaz Island. In addition to the 16 corners, it features two very long straights. Now these will be the driver's main overtaking chances today into turn five and turn seven. Let's take a look at the grid positions for today's race. Teo Porcher will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from him. And it's Dennis Hauger in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Deruvela, Vesti, Arthur Leclerc, Owasa, Fittipaldi, Martins, Duan, Kushmini, Hajar, Behrman, Clermont Novelak, Richard Vashore, Correa, Herbert, Maloney, Roman Stanek, Cordiel, Benavides, Boschong, and Roy Nisani completes the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Oh, it no. all comes down to this. I'm Alex Jakes, Alex Brundle is alongside me, and for the final time this season, we're about to go racing. Alex, you're looking to sign off in some style. So are the drivers and teams. It's a really important race for everyone here, despite the fact it's the end of the year. They know that everything they do in this event is going to echo for months through the end of the season. Here we are, last race of the season, Abu Dhabi. And it's lights out. And away we go as Herbert started from 16th place here. Not the start he would have won. The previous race winner down at the back as he darts out from the very beginning. Makes light work of the first move up to 15th. He's going to need a big drive here if he wants points. Looking to get into that third place slot here in the championship. Give himself the best position of driving in F1 next year. So it's already up to 13th. We are expecting an aggressive drive here as he goes two wide, three wide. Duhan, Mayan, Ma Marnie, sorry. Taken. Martin's in front. Herbert into ninth within three corners of this first lap. He is coming out all guns blazing. Hauger leading this race here. Porcher in second, who is in second place in the, the championship. Daravala, the, the leader, and he's, he's run away with this lead here in fourth. Vesti in third. Uh, one of uh, Aniwasa, all uh, drivers that Herbert are fight, is fighting with to get as many points as possible as we look to close out the season. An important close out in this F2 season as the F1 teams will have a look at this performance, have a look at how they have performed over the season and make their decisions on drivers for next year as Herbert is in behind Martins. Usually, under this uh, the art colours, the, the Duhan. This looks very f familiar. This is normally when a front wing gets damaged here. As Herbert is following Martins here under the bridge and round towards the end of the first lap here. Be picking his time to make his moves because eighth place is not going to be enough for this driver. Up from the back already in one lap. As we go into the second lap, how many more places will Herbert look to take here as he sits in, nuzzles in behind Martins? Very close coming through this first sector. Very close. As he goes wide, goes around the outside. No, nope, holds close, holds close. Looks on the outside. Tries to force Martins to the outside. He's going to go down the inside. Easily goes down the inside. Victor Martins passed with ease. Victor Martins, a driver that was in and about those rankings, but had a couple of real bad starts. Bottom places. Herbert himself. Uh, suffering the same fate, qualifying in the top 10 and then qualifying dead last over multiple uh, races. But Herbert has hit some form at the end of this season here. Uh, uh, as we see, who was that diving down the inside? Was that Fittipaldi? As we see, uh, Herbert's here, late season form, dragging him to towards the top of this F2 championship board. Fittipaldi behind Herbert now. He's at 1.2 seconds to hunt down Iwasa. Let us not forget the time that Iwasa took the front wing off Herbert and took him out of the points in Zanford. Hoping for a cleaning pass this time. Uh, hoping to keep a full wing for the whole race, Herbert. So should we, should we uh, buck the trend and get you to finish with a complete car? No carbon fibre missing. Then Herbert in the DRS range here as we go over into lap three where DRS will be enabled. And now we get a whole nother ball game.
behind him. Fittipaldi outside of DRS range. His top seven will be looking to start pulling away with that gap, that DRS creating those little trains. Let's see, here we go. This is the move. This is the first sector, the sector that helps. He's have a lot of speed on as he's coming. Is he going to go for the dive? He's going to leave it for another lap. He is gone for it. Oh, he's gone in. Late breaking wide. Owasa holds the place. Herbert just letting him know he's there. That was a, a shot across the bow there as Herbert did not hit the brakes into that corner. Still managed to maintain the DRS at the detection zone as we go into tightly on board now through the chicane. And there's the foot down as away goes the Aspirina circuit, the end of the Formula 1 and Formula 2 season. As Herbert is in here, Awasa, 1.2 seconds behind, he's losing some pace here. Three laps in, into the into the points position. Hadra up to 13th, Berman down 12th. A lot of cars passed from the start, whether it's 15th or 16th, Herbert started in. Is seventh as high as he can go here today. Oh, and as I was talking, he's got to make up that time straight away, back within DRS range, back within three tenths of a second as we cross the line. Look at this pack. Oh, it runs really wide there on that first corner. Just trying to maintain his speed. As you can see how quick he is in that second sector. Out of that first corner, incredible speed. As Awasa has Herbert dancing across the back of him there as he goes round him. As he goes round him into that big boomerang corner again, takes the inside track before the DRS. Herbert up to sixth. He was so close that there was barely even a pass. There was barely a fight for Mawasa there. As Portier is right, just slung it out, taking Hauger. Portier into the lead, can he hold it? Can Portier hold it into the corner? We're watching it from Vesti's position here as there's carbon fiber on the track. Hauger and Porsche going wheel to wheel for first as Herbert is watching this happen from behind. So he needs a little bit of fighting from the guys in front. Porsche's, whether that carbon fiber actually affected him, Porsche's now dropped to third, Festi up to second as Herbert is sniffing Leclerc, the man that caused the accident with Rwasa, the man who's bailed out multiple times again for car issues. But in Zavo, as he locks up again, uh, locks up in front of Herbert. Have we seen any damage? We'll see a scuff on that front wing, I'm sure. The front wing stayed fairly clean. Lucky there. Herbert needs to get around Leclerc. If that car is unstable, you cannot follow that quickly if he's going to be locking up. That's a chance for a front wing to go in the bin. Herbert will want to pass Leclerc as quickly as possible. As we're into lap five here. What a race, up to sixth position. How high can Herbert go? This is his fastest sector here, sector one. As he's in, he's going round on the boomerang, keeping that speed in as he is in the back. As he goes wide, he's gonna go on the outside this time. Or is he gonna go for the standard inside? He's gonna go for the boomerang around the outside of Charles Leclerc. It's surely not, surely not around the outside. I keep saying Charles, it's Arthur, it's Arthur. He's holding it in. DRS is open on the speed, on the straight. Will Herbert get in front? Look at these guys up front dancing three wide. As Leclerc keeps his position. There we go. Gives it up at the end there. It's Herbert into the chicane. Takes the racing line. Takes the racing line and is alongside Daravala here. Herbert's got around Daravala. The fighting that's happened in front. Porsche and Daravala fighting. Herbert has managed to sneak in past and is right on the back of Porche here, up into third. One whole section there. Again, we're gonna go back and watch this. We have gotta go back and watch this section all the way through. From the chicane, as we'll ride on board with Herbert here as, yeah, he goes round. There, yeah, there was a fight here. As Leclerc is passed, as we go round wide on the chicane, but they have three wide into the chicane, which slows everyone down, Herbert. Takes it wide and gets the fastest sign off. And there is Daravala put look past Porsche. Then we are right behind with the DRS. Right behind as he then waits, goes on the inside. Porsche gone. And we're into third position with Herbert. He's picked up a bollard. 
And the bollard's gone. Good. The bollard is free. Vesti and Halga in front. As Herbert from... So what is it? Six? I can't even remember where he started. 16 or 17 from the grid. Up to third before the halfway point of this race. This shark is attacking. Oh, there we go. That was in the... Halga brake checking Herbert into the pit lane here. They should have been going slow enough. Again, that front wing, we saw some carbon fiber. There's no visible damage here. Now, pit stops are the nemesis of this high-tech team. Can they actually get him in and get him out quickly? The medium's going on. The car is down. The car is ready for release. Release the car. Jesus. Herbert's been released. But it doesn't look like he's been released. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe. That looks like Halga in front of him. Is that Halga and Vesti? Yes, he's come out exactly where he went in. Finally, Hightech have managed to pull out. Oh, under the bridge of the pit release. Lovely. They've actually managed to pull out a pit release and got Herbert back in the position in which he went in. We will take it. So, one lap. One lap, fresh mediums to get them up to speed. Where are they going to come out? Daravala leading the race for now. Leclerc stayed out. Fit of power with Martin, Behrman, and Hadja all staying out. The other halves of the team. As we're into that chicane, as he's gone over the bump there. One lap ago, the chicane gave Herbert third place. As he's holding on to Halga. Halga is losing Vesti, though, as we get the slightly jittery helicopter cam here. As he looks to make the move on the inside. Oh, my God. Halga. Just left the door wide open. As we get the lovely helicopter view as Herbert goes into second. You can see the gap. He's going to not let Vesti get away. Well, preliminary second as we're coming round under the bridge. Look at this camera shot. Abby Dabby, what a track. As we're coming close to the start finish line and joining up with those that are leaving the pit. Obviously, they go under the track and come up on the other side. So where will they be coming out as all the pit crews are in? You can see all of the positions changing hands. Will Vesti come out in first and Herbert second? Where will Daravala come out onto the track? Nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. There he is, Daravala. Nearly a second behind Herbert out in third. As Vesti has a 1.7 second gap on Herbert. Seven laps of this 12 lap F2 race. No DRS. Can he go from 17th to 1st in the last race? Can he keep the front wing intact? We've had three close calls. As we are riding on board now into this chicane, the famous chicane, the one that gave him all the positions. He gets some speed out the back of it, takes it a little better than before. Not so much airtime. Still 1.7 seconds. Daravala has got DRS on him, so he's going to have to look to defend as much as he wants to look forward. He's going to have to keep an eye on his behind. Lovely take. 1.4 shaved some time off. This middle sector, fast cornering. Keeping the speed in. These medium tyres now hitting their peak. As Herbert is down to 1.1. So he's going to come over the line. Close to DRS. Oh, did he look like a run wide there from Vesti? 1.2 seconds. Can he break in? Can he get that DRS only? We know this little <clears throat> first sector, a couple of corners is where Herbert's been making up some time. He's made a lot of those early moves. But with no cars around, can he do it? He is inside the second. Can he keep the speed in the corner? 0.6. Was he inside for the DRS detection point? The wing is open. DRS is enabled. Vesti, you better be worried. Into the chicane. Into the chicane. Herbert is there. He is right there. Vesti has got his work cut out now. No DRS. As another DRS zone is in. That flap is open again. Herbert's pulling away from Daravala now. 1.3 seconds. So DRS behind. Broken already. This is a two. Horse race. Oh, that's close. That is close. Let's hope it's going to look. Is he looking? They're not quite side by side. Backs out. 
backs out, not worth it. He knows where to pass. He knows where his best, best options are for passing. Maybe the young driver finally realizing that if you just, a little bit of patience goes a long way as they're coming round to start lap nine of this 12 lap finale to the F2 season here at Gasparola. Marana, Marina. Uh, but ghosting in behind Vesti here. Two tenths. Into his favourite middle section. Runs a little wide. That's going to slow him down somewhat. Into his favourite middle section. Look at the speed. Lost two tenths. Gained two tenths. Is it going to be a move down the inside? He's going to wait to see where Vesti goes. Vesti doesn't go. Doesn't defend. Herbert takes the inside line. Round. Keeps the speed. Vesti slots in behind. Herbert should still have the DRS though. Because the detection point is before the corner and Vesti does not have it because Herbert waited. So Herbert with DRS in front, a strange sight to see. But we'll give him one straight to try and build a gap. Vesti's not there to have that gap though. Only manages three tenths. The slipstream helped Vesti stay in touch as now the hats, uh, the hats on the other foot, I was about to say the shoes on the other foot. Vesti, DRS behind Herbert. Herbert now in defense mode for four laps. We get this overhead camera again as we see. Will Vesti make a move? Doesn't make a move where Herbert's also took Halga on that corner on the inside there. Backed out Vesti down to six tenths. As we go around the Marina Bay. Under the bridge. Nicely done. Herbert holding that pace. Six tenths, eight tenths up to through this sector here. As he comes over to cross the line, lap 10. What a finale race here and what a drive here from Herbert. We've got to be drive of the day. If he stays where he is now, from almost the back of the grid to first place, to put himself in the best position to gain that F1 slot that seat which teams will come a knocking for these young drivers next year will Herbert be racing in Formula 1 or will he be back in Formula 2 will he be racing with some of his fellow F2 drivers competition here as we go through the chicane nicely done one second of it oh no you might catch up there where's this DRS zone it's still there I don't think Herbert's going to get enough out to break the DRS. Too many DRS straights. Vesti's keeping that pace. He does not want to let him go. Nice. Into the bridge. Into the... Oof. But not a couple of laps. Herbert nearly, nearly a second ahead. Trying desperately to break DRS. To give himself a little bit of breathing room for the end of this F2 season. Be nice to have him. I'm sure he would love a quiet finish, but I don't think Vesti's going to let him have it as we are into lap 11 of 12 here to end the season. The fast first sector from Herbert. Can he break away here? As you look at the speed he takes out of that corner. Immense. There he goes down into the first DRS challenge. The flap, the wings are open. Herbert, seven tenths. Will Vesti close up enough? I don't think he's going to close up enough on this lap. Into the corner. Round the chicane. There we go. Into the second DRS detection point. And then second DRS straight. Let's hope it comes round. Vesti, three tenths. This is the one. This has got to be the one. If you're going to do it, Vesti, now's the time to go. Right on the tail. As Herbert defends well, Vesti does not go for the move. Does not make the move. As we're going to go through and under. Herbert still in front. Not able to get out. Only four tenths. Nowhere near the lead he had in the prior lap. Going into the final lap of this race. Herbert in first. Vesti second. Daravala second. A uh, third. Leclerc fourth. Porsche fifth. No DNFs. And one hungry driver looking to defend for one last lap. Can Vesti do anything here to get back with the last few DRS straights? 
Herbert is away for the first. Can he beat him? Can he beat him? Big corner. Okay, into the first. DRS straight. Boom. There goes Vesti's DRS back wing open. He's going to be fighting Daravala for, for a second or third here. As he comes around, nicely done, nicely done. Second DRS straight. This is the one. This is the one. Vesti, if you are making your move, now is the time to go. Herbert needs to defend. Vesti's got round. Vesti's done it. He's made the move into the corner on the last lap. Oh, and he's backed out. Oh, my God. That was close. Herbert cuts across, goes wide into the corner, but stays in front, refuses to let Vesti have it. Vesti got side by side into the first corner. Or the first part of the corner. The second part, Herbert stayed in, used the full track width, and stayed in front. As we have seen him come around now for the last corner, Herbert did enough. Vesti tried his best, but that is it. Over the line, Herbert is your race winner and up to third in the championship what an f2 championship this has been where will we be seeing this driver next year nice. so another fantastic victory for high tech gp today another fantastic well, victory to rolling on the Boom. season and they can really build on that a satisfying way to go into next year with full confidence okay so this is the big moment. Did Martin stay in 7th for 8th? Did we do enough? I know we had to get and in front of Vesti. it's time now for the podium celebrations. And how well deserved is this one? What a fantastic victory for High Tech GP. Boom. Right in there. Go on. 14 races, a good start, a slow middle, and a strong, strong finish. As we pick up another win from another what was ninth what was that ninth place we started here ninth tenth what a drive that whole mess up with the front three when they went side by side going into the second drs zone on like lap four or five was absolutely <laughs> epic for me don't miss an opportunity lightly just shy of oh or the podium bars, whatever the hell that well, is. Well, what a championship it has been. Young talent shining through <sighs> once again. I've been Alex Jakes. Martin, My thanks to Alex points. Brundle and the whole team. We'll see you next year. Two when points Formula lines. 2 returns. We, well, hopefully we won't see you next year. 24-point jump we had on uh, on Martins, which means standings-wise, into the top three. Come on. 117 from the lead, though. Darryl, absolutely mop the floor with the rest of us but yeah we ended up topping martins by eight points we needed to beat vesti vesti coming strongly i was worried that if vesti had beaten us that the points gap would have meant that they had stayed or possibly got back in front of us and took that third place but we were there third number three ranking overall of the formula two drivers that is pretty damn good. Do we get high tech up any further? No, not quite. Fourth for high tech in the standings. And like we say, 141 points. 138 coming from one single driver. I oh, thank you very much. Hadjar down in 18th with three points for the season. Uh, and Behrman down there in 10th. Not doing great. He did have a lot of problems with the car uh, early on. Um... A lot of DNFs, a lot of uh, bailing out because the car was not doing what it wanted to do. Especially when you see Vesti up here. Had he had a better car, better luck maybe. Uh, do hand down an eighth. Oh, but poor chair. Yeah, just pipping us there. That's still a decent gap to make up. But third overall in our first season as a Formula 2 driver. Now, before next season, the question is, do we move? And we'll have to find out whether that happens next time. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Woohoo!